Okay, let's do roll call right now before the pledge. Okay. I'm just going to take it slow. Vanelli? You can unmute Here. and answer the roll call. Oh, sorry. Paduk? Vanelli? Janet Sutherland? He is now joining. Paduk? Here. I, I think it's pretty, it's pretty cloudy how you're. Amo? Here. And Agnostakis? Present. Benton? Here. Cheney? Here. Fagione? Here. Hines? Here. Kulsek? Here. Lujan? Present. Menuda? Here. O'Donnell? Here. Riskevich? Here. Sassy? Here. Sierra? Here. Staganga? Here. Sutherland? Here. Tautel? Here. Tui? Here. Vero? Here. Brescia? Here. 21 present. Thank you, Jean. You're welcome. All right, everybody, this is going to be a little difficult because it's uncharted territory, but let's try to get through this. And if I cut myself off for some reason, Katie, you take over, and, and then Tom Fagione, if we both get cut off for some reason. Okay? We will come back, probably. Okay, uh, please all rise, no matter where you are, for the Pledge of Allegiance. And remember George Green in a moment of silence, former legislator and town of New Windsor town supervisor who passed away last week. And for all those affected by the coronavirus and the families of those who have unfortunately passed away. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, States of America. and to the republic, to the republic. And to the republic. For, which for which it stands, stands. one nation, one nation. Under God, under God, indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. That's that's the marriage. Oh, moment of silence. Okay, thank you, everyone. Please be seated. Okay, if there are no objections, consent resolution number seven through 26 will be included on the agenda and vote collectively on numbers 11 through 22. Second. Okay. Motion. Okay, John Bureau, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Okay, if there are no objections, some resolutions will be voted by voice vote and some um, not by roll call. Only respond if you are a no vote or an abstention, which will make it a lot easier. Um, public participation will be postponed to the next legislative session. Okay, Jean, uh, are we ready with number one? Yes. And before you start, Jean, I want you to relax. I'm not sitting next to you to calm you down, and you're not okay. sitting next to me to calm me down, but this will go smoothly. So. Thanks, Okay. Steve. Okay. <laughs> number one. Legislator Staganga, <laughs> Legislator Staganga, Lujan. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to create director of epidemiology and public health planning at the Orange County Department of Health. Voice vote. No second. Voice vote. Discussion. Okay. Voice vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, aye. You, don't to, you know, you don't have to say aye, right? Right. You just have to, any no votes? Okay, carried unanimously. Um, A2, receive and file. The next one, number two, will be a roll call. So go ahead, Jean. Legislators Paduk and Fagione, local law introductory number nine of 2020, a local law to establish a sustainable energy loan program, open sea pace in County of Orange. Zero six. Discussion? Cool effect discussion. Yes, go ahead, Jim. Um, it says this came through the Rules and Action Intergovernmental Relations Committee. 
I, I don't remember this being on any agenda. Somebody talk on that? Fagione. Go ahead. Go ahead. Legislator Fagione. Chairman, this was presented in the February Rules Committee meeting, and through scheduling, uh, this had to sit on the desk for the allotted time. Unfortunately, it just did not make it to the desk in time from the February meeting to March, so we're bringing this back this month. Thank you, Chairman. Okay. Jim, any further discussion? And that no stock is discussion. Okay. Uh, one second, Mike. Uh, Jim, were you done? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Go ahead, Mike. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Antoinette, maybe you can clarify uh, in general, why are some of them voice votes and some of them roll calls? We're just trying to um, um, make this move a little more efficiently. And uh, we went through the agenda and looked at ones that we, one, ones that came out of the statutory committees we're doing by roll call, uh, ones that we didn't think that there would be any objections to or uh, controversial or, or debate, uh, we did by voice vote. So um, if you have objections to any one particular resolution uh, being uh, voted on by voice vote, if you could let the chairman know when that numbered resolution comes before the uh, 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 legislative body for a vote. Okay, thank you for the clarification. Okay, thank you. And if you recall, Mike, in the past, I don't know, five or six years, there's been certain occasions where we have, uh, had voice votes. So, yep. Yep. okay, thank you, Antoinette, thank you, Mike. Um, any further discussion on number two? Okay, roll call, Jean. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Yes. Cheney? Fagione? Yes. Hines? Yes. Kulasek? Yes. Menuda? I'm sorry, Lujan? Hi. Menuda? Yes. O'Donnell? Aye. Ris <clears throat> Riskevich? Yes. Sassy? Yes. Sierra? Aye. Staganga? Yes. Sutherland? Yes. Tortell? Yes. Tui? Yes. Bureau? Yes. Brescia? Yes. 21 eyes. Excuse me, Mr. Benton. We are having a hard time hearing your voice. Um, so if you could speak closer to your uh, speakerphone on your on your uh, cell phone or whatever mechanism you're using, uh, we're just it's very difficult to hear you. It's all muffled. Yeah, Antoinette, I had my uh, phone on mute because I thought it was like normal. We didn't need to say yes if we were yes. We only had to say something if we were a no. Okay, That's so true. when when we're doing a roll call, uh, we'd appreciate you saying aye or nay. Um, and uh, then uh, it just, uh, just because of the sound issues here, we want to make sure that uh, we're getting everyone on the record, okay? But thank you, I appreciate it, yeah, Lee. Okay. Antoinette, Antoinette, I have to say, let's keep it, let's keep it, I'd rather keep it silent for an I vote. Okay. And if you want to say no, okay. unmute it, because it's going to be easier that way. Okay, okay. fine, okay. you're on the other side, right. so thanks, appreciate it. Okay, thanks, okay. All right, Thank Ronda you. number three. Ronda number three, Jean. Legislator Staganga, Tortell, Sierra, Paduk. Resolution authorizing a contract to be made with the staff and chairman's association of Orange County Community College. Roll call. Zero uh, seconds. Well, first Stevens. So, okay, roll call. Is there any oh, discussion oh, first, Steve? I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, discussion. Yeah. Steve should, Steve should. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Padu? Yes. Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? 
Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, number four. Legislators Tautel and Staganga, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to create Chief Assistant County Attorney Indigent Defense at the Orange County Attorney's Office. Zero second. Okay, discussion. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagion, Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, number five. Legislator Staganga Ruskevich, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to remove stipulation from one criminal Kathy investigator Staganga. position at He's the now exiting. Orange County District Attorney's Office. Zero second. Okay, discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Kathy <coughs> Stigenga? is now joining. Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, number 16. Legislators Tautel and Staganga, resolution confirming the reappointments and appointment by the County Executive to the Orange County Human Rights Commission. Zero seconds. Okay, discussion. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, Jean, you've got your AA, is that? Yes. That's, uh, what the first, okay, AA. Go ahead, Jean. Legislators Staganga and Ruskevich. Resolution confirming the appointment of Alan J. Sorensen as Commissioner of the Department of Planning for Orange County by the County Executive. Zero second. Discussion? The Duke? Yes. Go ahead, Mike. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, as you know, I had questions regards in, in regarding the Hatch Act uh, for Mr. Sorensen. Um, we did get a memo from, <clears throat> excuse me, from the U.S. Office of Special Counsel However, I still have concerns because as it reads on the top, it says specifically that with the change of allowing people to run for a partisan political office, the Federal Act, Hatch Act has no longer prohibits state and local government employees from running for partisan office unless the employee's salary is paid for completely by federal loans or grants. And that being the case, his salary 
is not completely paid with that. So I'm okay with that part of the Hatch Act. However, in that same uh, information sheet that we got, at the bottom, it says that any state or local employee is covered by these prohib uh, prohibitions if the employee works in connection with a program financed in whole or in part by federal loans or grants, even if the connection is relatively minor. A covered employee who runs for office would violate the Hatch Act. So my concern, he does get federal transportation aid that he'll be in charge of, which is what my concern was from the beginning, along with him being partially paid from federal funds. So that Hatch Act uh, information actually eliminated the funding part, but did not eliminate if he's in charge of the federal, uh, any federal aid, which we did get in transportation. Uh, besides that comment, I just I have other concerns that I'll mention. Uh, there, in regards to, uh, there were three. I think there were three people that applied. One was interviewed. It was Mr. Sorensen. He's being hired at the cap, which David Church, all his years, got to finally, and we're hiring him at the cap. However, he is the minority leader in the Sullivan County Legislature, and from a from a, a, a sheet that I have in regards to him, he's staying focused on Sullivan County issues too. And as the minority leader, he'll be at his session. He'll be encouraging uh, different things in Broadway, which I'm reading here, how he's trying to revitalize Broadway. And he makes a statement that says he feels a, a strong sense of responsibility to Sullivan County. So, I mean, I'm, I know he has a great background for, for this position. I would not have any concern at all if he would give up his legislative position. And I do have one question. If you're the planning commissioner in Orange County, do you have to reside in Orange County? So for that, I'll be voting no on this. Uh, I think there's too many conflicts. I'm not even sure if he gave up his planning consulting business yet, and he's not going to be spending all his time in Orange County like David Church did. So I'll be voting no. Okay, further discussion? Faggio. Yes, Tom, go ahead. Thank you, Chairman. I just would like to say and ask my fellow legislators to support uh, Mr. Sorensen as the Commissioner of Planning. I've worked with him closely now via telecommunication in the last two weeks, and I will tell you that not only has he uh, jumped into what is a very hot situation, he is leading the planning department smartly and very professionally. I have no qualms with anything that he's done so far. He's issued a memo in terms of uh, his staffing levels and what he's doing to make sure that uh, grant units and land use and GML requests and reviews have been uh, have been continued. Uh, I would ask my fellow legislators that you support this uh, appointment. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Further discussion? Cheney? Yep, go ahead, Cheney. Re relative to the oh, Cheney, uh, I'm sorry. Ahead, individual needing to live in Orange County, um, Mr. Church, the previous planning commissioner, did not live in Orange County. Okay, thank you for that clarification. Yes, I believe you lived in the town of Shawnee with a Pine Bush address. Thank you, Barry. Further discussion? Duke? Yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just in regards to what I mentioned about the Hatch Act, I'd like to have an opinion from our council in regards to that same notification that she got, where in fact it does say that he ha if he's in charge of any program, any federal funding program like transportation, that he'd be violating the Hatch Act. I, hadn't, I didn't hear any response in regards to that. And well, that we, only have, we only had two responses so far, Mike, but I have to say, I wish you had emailed Barry Four. He asked you a week ago for any other questions concerning this appointment, and we got legal opinions that we were on high ground with this appointment, and I wish you didn't wait until the floor vote to bring them up, because you had ample time to get your questions answered. You had your questions answered that were brought up in the statutory committee, and that's why we're here today moving forward. So, you know, I don't know that you're going to get those answers today that you want. So I think we should proceed. Any other discussion? Yeah, Duke, uh, Steve, I just wanted to mention, though, that this information we just got back recently, this was the question that I asked when Harry Poor was in the room. And, they, and, and Langdon, I think, is the one that contacted the Office of Special Counsel. And to get this information back, if we all read it, it's very clear on the bottom in regards to federal transportation aid and the Hatch Act. So 
My concern is why aren't we taking the information that we've asked for from the Office of Special Counsel? This is not an appropriate appointment, I don't think. Well, I asked you, I asked you two days ago on the conference call to ask any questions at that time. I think you had that information two days ago. I don't believe Langdon is on the call. Antoinette, can you give an opinion on that? Certainly. The county attorney, the county executive's office can take the appropriate action to shield Mr. Sorenson's or, you know, this commissioner's duties so that any federal transit funds are not used to fund his position. So they could use other funds or they could use pure county taxation, and that would shield him from Hatch Act issues. Also, you know, we do have avenues to pursue conflict issues, and that goes before the Board of Ethics. I'm not sure if Mr. Sorenson did do that, but that would be, that is an avenue that can be pursued or might have already been pursued. I'm sure that the county executive and his counsel reviewed these issues intensely. They would not have hired him or brought his name forward as a candidate if it was in direct violation of the Hatch Act. Thank you. Further discussion? It's very cloudy, your response. I couldn't hear everything. I don't know if anybody else is having a hard time hearing Gene and Antoinette, but I am on this phone. But in regards to you mentioning the Hatch Act and the federal, funded by federal loans, I agree with that part. The bottom part, in regards to transportation aid, I heard most of what you said. I'm sorry, but I didn't hear clearly. And the fact that you guys are going to support him anyway, you know, it's really a moot point. My concern is if we lose transportation aid, any transportation aid in the future due to that, I'm going to hold all of you responsible. Okay, thank you, Mike. Further discussion? Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? No. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Yes. Hines? Kulasek? Kulasek, no. Lujan? No. Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stegenga? Sutherland? Tartell? No. Tui? Vero? Brescia? 17 ayes, 4 noes. Okay, number 7, which is a voice vote. Legislator O'Donnell, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Health to accept and appropriate third year grant funds from the New York State Department of Health. Zero second. Discussion? Roll call. Voice vote. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry. That's okay. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Terry. Okay, um, Gene, let me just ask you and answer that something. If legislators want to be sponsors on these resolutions, um, they can text you or call uh, if yeah. they want to be on added. Is that possible? Yes, I get several emails um, from legislators requesting that, and I will make sure that they get on the final resolution, yes. Okay, legislators, please do so after the, right after the meeting if, uh, if you want to be added as a uh, sponsor to the resolutions, okay? Thank you. Uh, Mr. Number Mr. Yes, Mr. Chairman, Mike, I just ask you yeah. something. If, uh, if all Dems or all Republicans want to be on it, you just mentioned that to eliminate the hassle of sending that email. And anyone's individual wanted to be on, they could email. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. If you want to do Wait. that, it'll simplify it a little bit. Yep, no problem. Okay, Mr. number eight. Chairman? Mr. Yes. Mr. Chairman, it's Katie. 
Uh, mm -hmm. when, we re when we receive the email as far as uh, prior to the meeting and organizing the meeting, I've already emailed Gene or all, all sponsors for Republicans. And I thought we were supposed to all do that ahead of time and not do it after the fact. So I've already emailed our stuff for the Republicans. Okay, so going forward, we'll try to do it the way Katie did it this time, and uh, you know we'll allow it this time, and let's try to get it in in advance for those legislators that want to be sponsors if we have to do another meeting such as this. Okay, okay. thank you, Katie. Yep. Thank you, Katie, too, as well. As you know, I had my caucus this morning at 9.30, so it's inappropriate for me to add all them without going in first. No, 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 no criticism no, 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 whatsoever. I just yeah. wanted my members to know that I had already put their names on it. <laughs> Yeah, no problem, Mike. Just next time we'll we'll try to do it ahead of time if that's okay. Thank you. Okay, um, number eighteen. Uh, just for clarification, um, it's actually co-sponsors. The sponsors are already on the resolutions. The co-sponsors would be added after. Just to clarify, but um, okay. you can email me is fine. All right. Okay. Uh, number eighteen. That's fine. Um, Legislator O'Donnell. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Mental Health to accept and appropriate funds from the National Institute on Drug Abuse, NIDA. Zero seconds. Okay, discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried unanimously. Okay, number nine, another voice vote. Go ahead, Jean. Legislator Cheney. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Planning to submit an application for the Hudson Valley Greenway Committee's, I'm sorry, Communities Planning Grant from the Hudson River Valley Greenway. Zero second. Discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Carried unanimously. Number 10, Jean? Legislator Benton, resolution approving the release of the county's interest in and to a certain deed sale parcel to the previous owner of record. Zero second. Discussion? Okay, all in favor? Opposed? Carried unanimously. Okay, 11 to 22, we're gonna vote on collectively unless anybody wants one separated out. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Okay, uh, roll call, Gene. It's just voice vote. All in favor? All opposed? Okay, 11 through 22 carried unanimously. Uh, number 23? I would assume that all legislators want to be on this one. If, if nobody, if somebody wants off, um, speak now, or we'll add everybody at this point. That's good, Steve. That was one for all of them. Okay. Thank you. Deal. Okay, 23, Gene, you want to read it? Sure. Legislators Benelli, Paduke, Amo, and Agnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. Resolution recognizing April 21st, 2020 as Holocaust Memorial Day, Yom HaShoah. Zero second. Discussion? The Duke, we're all on there anyway. We're all on there anyway, so roll call. We'll do roll call on this one anyway. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 24. Legislator O'Donnell. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Health to accept and appropriate grant funds from the New York State Department of Health for the Public Health Emergency Preparedness Grant. Zero second. 
Discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Carried unanimously. Okay, Officer Allen, can I, can I, yes, can I just ask this question? I, I sure. believe I added all Republicans as co-sponsors, just for the notes. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All guns on that one, too. Okay, fine. Uh, Michael? Us too, Steve. Yeah, sure. Okay. Unanimously, everybody's on as a sponsor. Yes. Great. Okay. Thank you. Okay, number 25. Legislator Benton, resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2019 Orange County budget for various departments. Zero seconds. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amel? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Bagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, I just thought of something. All legislators can go to the bathroom without missing the vote. No, bad humor, I'm sorry. Number 26. Legislator Hines, resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the Orange County Department of Emergency Services Police Services. Zero seconds. Discussion? We do call them. All them want to be on? Okay. Okay, um, all in favor? All opposed? Carried unanimously. Okay, number 27. Legislators Ruskevich and Fagione, resolution amending resolution number 45 of 2020 relating to annual and eight year review of Orange County agricultural districts for purposes of establishing an additional 30 day period, June 1st through June 30th, 2020, for municipalities and landowners to submit applications to the County of Orange due to COVID-19 virus and directing the clerk of the legislature to publish a notice of review of Orange County Agricultural Districts, numbers one and two. Zero seconds. All in favor? Um, Benelli, hold on. <laughs> I okay. just wanted to note that I, I also sent to co-sponsor all Republicans. Okay, good. Mike Thank you. and Michael, did you, did you guys want to be on this, uh, everybody sure. or no? Go ahead. You can add up okay. to that. If, if there's any uh, further extensions needed, we'll just we'll have to vote on them again next month, I guess. Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. Through June, okay. Right. Excuse Thank me, uh, this is Antoinette Reed, Legislative Council. Uh, we are working with uh, New York State uh, Agricultural and Markets, uh, their legal counsel and their staff. Uh, uh, this we would only be able to do this one extension. We're running tight on the time on the statutory time light timeline uh, set forth in uh, Ag and Markets Law Section uh, 303. Uh, so uh, it's either we're going to do it uh, with this one extension, uh, or else uh, we uh, we're going to have to uh, just continue the districts as they are. Uh, I talked to uh, uh, Commissioner Sorensen and Kelly Morris, who's taking the lead on this in the uh, Department of Planning, and uh, they're, they believe that they can accomplish uh, the certification within the time frames allotted. Um, and so I just have to uh, confirm that with legal counsel for Ag and Markets, uh, but it's looking good. So uh, we, there will be no other extensions on this. It's either going to be a go or we're going to have to pull it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Further discussion? Mike, were you, were you speaking? No, I'm fine. I just, it sounds like she's in the echo chamber. I don't know if anybody else can understand all of it, but I'm just having an issue with it. Are you in the chamber, Antoinette, or are you in your office? I am in the I'm in the chamber, I'm but it may be that I'm yeah. using a mic and I'm I'm very close to the speaker, the spider uh, speaker. So 
uh, maybe mm -hmm. that's a problem. We'll try to address that for next time. Yeah, maybe in your office or a different location, like you said. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Internet. Any further discussion? Okay, this is a roll call. Go ahead, Jean. Voice vote. Oh, I'm sorry, voice vote. I, I'm jumping to the 28. Okay, voice vote. All in favor? Opposed? Carried unanimously. Okay, number 28. Legislator Fagione, resolution of the Orange County Legislature recognizing and urging the governor of the state of New York to issue a waiver of any applicable state laws and provide guidelines for the purpose of authorizing local industrial development agencies to use non-obligated cash funds for low interest or no interest loans to small businesses within their jurisdictions who are experiencing financial hardship as a result of the COVID-19 crisis. Zero seconds. Okay, discussion? Benelli. Yes, please, go ahead. Uh, all Republicans added, please. Thank and you. I had already okay. sent that to Gene, so. All, all okay. Dems, please. Sure. All Dems. Okay, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And Agnes Marcus. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. I didn't get to talk to you. Okay. Further discussion? Yeah, and Agnes Marcus. Yes, go ahead, Mike. Um, please keep me off. I'm going to have to abstain on this one. Okay, no problem. Okay, further discussion? Benson. Yes, please. Go ahead. Yeah, I'd like to uh, say that I support this resolution, but I'd also like to make sure that the IDA is in charge of it and that the IDA is in charge with the selection committee because society seems to want to relieve people of their personal responsibilities now. So I want to make sure that these grants are sensible in size and also sensible in repayment terms uh, so that, you know, again, they don't turn into grants. Okay, we'll okay. relay that message. Okay. The Ganga? I'm sorry? The Ganga? Okay, go ahead, Chapman. Um, I just want to say that I am totally in support of this, but I would also like to see that maybe they concentrate a lot of these loans if, if and when it becomes possible on the small mom and pop stores as the priority before they move up into larger businesses. Okay. We will I'll relay that along. And also, any, any suggestions to the IDA, please feel free to call Lori or Vinny or text them with your suggestions of implementation because it's not going to be easy. I have to tell you that, but it's, um, you know, across the board. But please uh, forward your suggestions as well. Further discussion? Okay, I just wanted to say one quick thing on the IDA. Uh, we know this has been an initiative of the county execs to get these $500,000 or $600,000 loans out of the funding core and it's moving along very nicely. I don't think it'll be the April 9th deadline will be uh, met, but I think it'll, it'll be available soon after that because the IDA meets next week to approve these, these loans out of the funding corp. So um, that should be done. But I just want to say what the IDA has done since the middle of March because sometimes the IDA gets beat up um, and these are some of the good things that are done. Uh, they dedicated senior staff to develop and build the OCFC loan program from scratch, and they'll continue to work on that. So that's a, a big endeavor, and they're definitely working on it. Dedicated two, two staff members to field phone calls from the Orange County business that need, businesses that need help, employee issues, grant questions, unemployment concerns. They hosted a free webinar and paid for McAllister and Quinn federal experts to walk everyone through the confusing federal grant loan process. And Paul Ruskevich and myself were on that phone call yesterday at 4 o'clock, and it was very informative. Every IDA board member has been engaged, and all volunteer board members have weighed in on the process on a daily basis. We've been on calls a lot with the IDA. Spoken to over 30 businesses they have to provide business counseling or access to the federal stimulus program, none of whom have asked for a loan from the OCFC at this point, and I'm sure that will change. Enable five Orange County companies to produce personal protective equipment, PPE, for local health care workers. The IDA also expedited and purchased materials for the production of PPEs. Announced that the 500000 will be appropriated for a loan fund at the April 9th OCFC meeting. That's forthcoming next week. And they collected information from individuals who have been laid off through the crisis and paired them with companies to meet needs of employment. 
And I have to say I've been on the phone with Vinny and Lori continuously over the last two weeks, and I think they're doing a bang up job. So I just had to put that out there. Okay, roll call. Chairman, Chairman, oh, uh, yes. do we hear? Yes, yes. do we What's hear? Better um, I'm voting yes on this, but I'd also uh, like to uh, see that 500 to 600,000 uh, increase to a million dollars. I'm voting yes. Okay, Peter, I just have to clarify that it, it can't be increased to a million dollars out of the funding court because there's only, I believe, five or 600,000 in the funding court. But if we get an executive order from the governor allowing uh, the IDA to tap into the main account funds, there's quite a bit more money in those in that account. So that there's potential. That's what this resolution is trying to achieve to um, give the governor or ask the governor to allow IDAs and the ABO to allow IDAs to tap into funds for such long. Okay, Thank further you, discussion? Yep. Anytime, Pete. Further discussion? Duke? Yes, Mike, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I had some concerns regarding in my caucus regarding some different issues, and I let my caucus know that you've given all the, uh, the committee chairs homework and that all those issues could be addressed during this month's uh, meetings, right? They're going to be teleconference. Our committee meetings are going to be teleconference this month. That's, That's the true. plan. Being correct? Jean and Antoinette? We're going to try our best to do it. Uh, we're working with IT. We will probably use the chambers again. And uh, we're also trying to uh, investigate uh, video so that, uh, you know, we can have visuals uh, for, for legislators who are, who are at, at other uh, remote locations. So we're going to work on it, but we're going to need some legislators to come in and possibly help us test it. Uh, so, uh, you know, we might look for one or two volunteers for that. So uh, we will be doing that not next week, the week after that, the week of the 13th. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll volunteer for that. I'll be one of the volunteers that you need, if you need, because I think it's so important with the information that Steve gave to uh, the committee chairs uh, regarding budget, et cetera, et cetera. And to get updated, I think it's in, the, in some of the questions that I've had from my caucus answered, I think it's important that we, uh, when we do have those meetings, we have the ability to discuss it all with us too, because I know, you know, it's, it's hard enough for everybody as it is. And I know, I uh, just like to mention too, I know Katie had mentioned at our last conference call regarding the funded but unfilled positions, which I think they were working on to try and get on today's agenda. However, uh, that would save the county the 15 or 16 million I talked about in the beginning of the budget. Uh, although we've already, already taxed people on that amount of money, uh, that would be an additional millions of dollars that we'll have to supplement our budget with loss of sales tax revenue. And I think you're still working to put that together to go through the committee, which is why it's so important that all the members uh, will be on the conference call for committees. So again, uh, I thank you for that. And uh, I know we all got to work together on this. So like I said, when you need somebody to come in, I just want to help ensure that everybody gets to hear the information and, and has their say or concerns uh, addressed. So thank you. Right. Uh, Thank you. I'm we're, sure. we're still trying Thank to you. abide by uh, the governor's and, and uh, the president's uh, stay at home policy. Uh, so we're trying to limit the number of people who come into the county building. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll we'll we have a two week break uh, before our, the committees uh, start. Uh, so hopefully, uh, you know, we'll be in a better situation uh, from a health standpoint. But thank you, Mr. Paduke, for volunteering. Uh, you're welcome, and I, I would just like to, to do that. Mr. Kulisek had brought up uh, important information that I know personnel is usually the first committee, statutory committee meeting, and that is where there's a lot of information regarding possible furloughs or layoffs, and there's some concerns that if they're laid off, they may be able to make as much money or more, which would save the county uh, from unemployment. I, I, you know, I know there's a lot of concerns and questions that want to be asked, which is why I want to make sure that we get this organized so that we can all have our, our say and input on all these decisions that are going to be made. Yes, absolutely. And that's one of the assignments for Legislator Vero for his, uh, it's going to be reported on Monday. Thank you for that. And, and with the unfunded or the positions that uh, weren't filled, I'm sure the county executives have got plans not to fill them as the issue of the hiring freeze. Um, and all hands are going to have to be on deck for the cuts that we're about to ensue in various departments and
capital projects and so on. So, um, and I did, uh, Tom Faggione did mention to me a couple days ago about Zoom, and I know Paul Perskevich and myself are going to be on a Zoom conference today, um, but that might be an option to, for us too, the videoing. So, Mike, please stay involved with that. Uh, uh, okay, uh, further, uh, Chairman. Excuse me. Chairman uh, Bush, uh, O'Donnell here. Yes. Yes, yeah, and uh, the caucus uh, Democrat send those questions in from this morning to the uh, specific chairs, like uh, send me whatever you got for help and uh, mental health ahead of time so we can do the research when we get to uh, committees. Excellent idea, Jim. And that's like we do it at budget time with the department heads and the, and the commissioners. Please send the statutory chairs, as Jim just said, those questions so they can be prepared for the meetings. Thanks. That would really streamline things. Okay, further discussion? Uh, yes, uh, this is Antoinette Reed, Legislative Council. Uh, just uh, to note that the PNC Personnel Compensation Committee meeting is scheduled for Monday, April 20th, not next Monday. So I just want to clarify that for the public and for county employees who may be interested. I would think they would be. And uh, the other uh, thing is that please be careful as to what. Uh, uh, software programs you are using for audio and visual, uh, please confer with uh, Mr. Burpo and our Deputy IT Commissioner Richard uh, Kosciara uh, because some of those are not secure or sanctioned for governmental uh, operations. So uh, I'm not sure if Zoom is or not, but before you uh, venture to use them, please check with our uh, Commissioner of General Services. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Legislative Council. I've been in communications with the Commissioner, uh, Mr. Burpo, and some of his staff. And uh, as I'm sitting here right now, we have the technology in place. I'm sitting in front of my computer screen, and I can see the legislative chambers on video. So uh, as we move forward, this is the opportunity to really use the technology that we have before us. And I know that uh, Commissioner Burbo and his staff are fully prepared to help us out. And I'm willing to use the Rules Committee as my chairmanship as the perfect example where we can roll this out. And once again, this is a great idea for us to really, really take a look and say, as a county, we can scale back on the amount of paper products, uh, office supplies, and um, all the things that get wasted in a daily manner by using the technology that we already have in play in front of us. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Abstain. Benton? Cheney? Baggione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes, one abstention. Mr. Chairman, and the desk is clear.
we can, uh, if there's questions that aren't answered, I mean, we still have a while before the first. Is uh, PNC, is that the first meeting on the 20th of the statutory meeting? Yes, Dean. I'm sorry, okay, Steve. Okay, so we have a little time. We, we have a little time, Mike, then, to uh, get some of those questions out there. I mean, we can report back and, and um, try to consolidate it to get to all, all three caucuses. What was this? Kulisek, Kulisek with a question. Yes, go ahead, Jim. Is uh, leadership, is Mike Paduk in those meetings or the conference call with the uh, yeah, statutory all three, chairs? Yeah, okay. all three party leaders, the majority minority and, and caucus leader, are in on and the statutory chairs. You know, with us not having any any committee chairs, we're, we're kind of like out in left field here, so we'll make sure that Mike's there. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, just anything to, else? Just, just to mention to my caucus members, since they cannot hear me, uh, we talked about it at caucus this morning regarding the homework. What I can do is I'll email everyone what I had written down in regards to Homer Steve uh, had put to the chairman, and uh, mm -hmm. I can email everyone with the list so that if you have any questions pertaining to those particular items, that would probably make it easier, so I'd be more than happy to do that, uh, and I'll get it out as soon as I can. Definitely, and it will streamline the, the statutory meetings, I'm sure, if there's you know, if, if everybody's prepared for the questions in advance. So. Well, thank you all. Under, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay, second. everybody be safe and stay home. Second. And pump. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> all right, everybody, be safe, and we'll talk soon. Thank you. Rob Sassy. Thank you. Is now exiting. Multiple people are now exiting.